Hello, lovely Cancerian, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. Cancerian, we're going to do a general collective reading for August 2023. This is going to be for you, Cancer, for sun, moon, rising, placements. Okay, wherever you have it in your chart. Cancerian, this is the advice from the Moonology for what is coming in for August. So we have two rare moons. There's going to be one very rare blue moon happening on August 30th or 31st. It's a super moon, a full super moon. And it's going to be exceptionally close, okay, to the Earth. And by the way, this blue moon won't occur again until May 31st, 2026, okay? So, Cancerian. Let's see what's coming in for general messages for Cancerian. We have your commitment is being tested, okay? It's like, have you learned the lessons, Cancerian? Have you learned valuable lessons when it comes to relationships, partnerships here, okay? And then we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Yes, you have, because you're definitely taking care of this now. Like I feel with Mars and Aries coming in and nothing will come of this situation. There's a void, of course. Have faith in your dreams. So let's talk about the energy that just came out for you, okay? When it comes to your commitments overall, okay, things are getting ramped up around here, okay? The Mars and Aries is you taking control now. It's time for you, Cancer, to take action, okay? You are somebody who is admired by people for your strength, okay? Mars, natural born leader, energy, masculine energy. It's like whatever you're about to do, okay, not everyone's going to be happy for you, Cancerian, okay? There's a void, right? There's a transition here. You're definitely starting a new chapter here. Something new is coming in. And like I feel, you're prioritizing yourself by finding a resolution to put yourself first now, Cancer, okay? So like I feel, whatever this was, this void, of course, that's happening here, Um there's definitely, I'm doing a reading, by the way, on the 24th, 4th of July, 2023. So like I feel, you're moving towards the energy of your dreams here. This is your dream. This is what, what inspires you, okay? So you're getting ready to take action here, Cancerian, like I feel. And the answers that you need are coming. For some of you, your Gemini, Cancer uh, placements or Mars placement. You could have your moon in Gemini or your moon in Aries. For some of you, but I definitely got a Cancer Moon sign here, and I definitely feel the energy of Cancer Sun signs. Okay, so there's a lot of energy that's playing out right now, but like I'm feeling, it's time for you to put yourself first. It's time for you to take action. Okay, this is the messages for Cancerian from the Wisdom of the Oracle. This reading may not resonate for all of you. Keep what resonates and take the rest and leave the rest behind. Cancerian. This is for Cancerian. This is for Cancerian for August 2023. A big shift is happening here. But Mars, Mars moved into the sign of Virgo. So this could be areas around your home, areas about rebuilding, renovations, okay? Like I feel for some of you, you're closing something out. Something has come to an end. A completion is here, okay? Cancerian. So let's see. Show me Cancerian. Yep. Chopping wood. Closing doors, opening new doors that are here. This is a cleanup that's happening here. So this could be a renovation. This could be a cleanup when it comes to clearing out something. This could be homes. Uh, this could be around renovation. Okay, with the broom and the mop. 42 is a number six here. Master number four, master number two, I'm seeing. It says chop wood. So like I feel, it's time for you to take action. It's time for you, like I feel, to do a cleanup. Chopping wood is like, get to work. It's time for, like I feel, to do the work. It's go-go time right now. <laughs> like I feel, you can't avoid this. This is something you need to take care of. Like I feel, to find a resolution. So for some of you, you're finding a way out of something here that was chaotic, okay? Serendipity. Blessings of good luck, good fortune are here. 
four leaf clover is here, Cancerian. Number 18 is here. For some of you, Cancerian, your birthday could be on the 18th of July here, okay? Like I'm feeling here, good luck is here. Turning point is here, new chapters here. Serendipity reminds me of the energy of Jupiter. This is a life cycle, a turning point here, where luck is on your side now, okay? So like I feel, get ready for some blessings to come in here, okay? This is about destiny, a turning point that's here for you, okay? Definitely luck unfolding on your path here. Four-leaf clovers are represent Irish, okay? For some of you, you're Irish, right? And you're definitely connecting to your higher power. Once again here, okay? Cancerian, you have spiritual gifts that are here. And your spiritual gifts are heightened. Number four is here. So this tells me things are coming together. You're getting ready here, like I feel, to make some big changes when it comes to your foundation, right? So your gifts are heightened here. You have an inner knowing. Your third eye is awakening. For some of you, you're going through a crown chakra, okay, activation here. Like There's a feeling here of also things that have been in, in this feeling of fog, right, around us here. But you knew, you have an inner knowing here, okay, with this higher power energy. So you're taking back your power and your control, okay, so you're calling back your energy from wherever, where, it's like calling back your energy from people, places, and things, okay? So like I feel now, like I feel if things were out of whack here, you're taking action. So whatever commitment this is, you've learned a valuable lesson. You've also learned, like I feel your energy is very, it, it's valuable, your energy, okay? So let's see what's coming in for Cancerian with the Tarot. Let me leave these cards for right here. And I'm going to get six cards for you, Cancerian. This is going to be an intuitive rating for Cancerian. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node for August 2023. This is for August 2023. Like it's time to take action with Mars moving into Virgo. So this is about the energy getting ramped up here, Cancer. It's about taking charge of a situation here. This could have to do with your commitments. This could be your commitments in a relationships, partnerships, friends, family, business. You're resolving an issue here. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Magician, Mercury and Gemini or Mercury and Virgo. So this is the this is something here that you're getting ready to do. Like I feel this is a feeling of two of wands, okay? Page of Swords. Seven of Pentacles and a judgment is being made here. Yep. There's a chapter here that's closing out. I feel right now you're feeling on guard. There is a feeling here of having to protect yourself, Cancerian or Cancer sign. So there's a challenge going on here and I feel you're defending your boundaries at this time. You could be connecting with an Aries or a Leo or a Sag. It also feels like Cancerian here. You're definitely elevating. Like I feel you ha are somebody here who is admired for your strength. Like I feel there's a lot of people that are not happy about what you're doing here. Okay, Cancerian. These are people here that I feel there's a warning here, right? It's like you cannot mess with somebody here that has spiritual gifts, okay? So you're having to defend what you've built here, okay? Seven of Wands is a energy here of protecting yourself from somebody here. Now, Ace of Wands is on a table. You have a brand new beginning here. A very powerful new chapter is opening up for you. This is about you lighting that torch here. The magician tells me there's a feeling here of you taking charge of an area. And like I said, you have all the tools in your toolbox to make this happen, Cancerian. So your gifts and your abilities, you've manifested something here brand new. For some of you, you if this has to do with your money and your business here, you're making a judgment call. The ball is in your court here. 
For some of you, you're networking, you're connecting online, okay? This could be long distance travel for some of you, like I feel when it comes to this. Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Judgment. This Page of Swords can be a child, a sibling, a friend, okay, a partner. Someone here is keeping tabs on you, okay? This is somebody that's at a distance from you. This could be somebody you blocked, okay? There's definitely a passionate offer that's being handed to you now with the Ace of Wands here. It has a lot of potential here, Cancer. You can definitely do this. This is something you've manifested that is coming into fruition here, okay? Two of Wands is you getting ready to make plans, okay? So this is about getting the putting the pieces together here, okay? And I also feel that there is a definitely a reward for your hard work, okay? Judgment is a revert. It's a start over. It's a higher calling that's going to change everything. Seven of Pentacles, I feel that you've been waiting for this. There's some kind of a return that's coming to you, okay? This could be a return coming in where you have family members who have passed on that are cheering you on. Like the angels are blowing the horns here, Cancerian. There's a judgment, okay? So this is about an inner calling that you have. Seven of Pentacles. So we're going to see. You have seven, seven so far, I'm seeing. Yeah, there it is. You're protecting what you built. This is your craft. This is your. This is something you've mastered. So it feels like, you know, like this person's jumping up and they have one boot and one shoe on. So this is feeling like, like you have to jump up and, and protect yourself, okay, in a hurry. So it's a feeling of definitely a struggle, having a struggle when it comes to your work, okay. Eight of Pentacles is about you definitely are, have been very focused here. You're focused on the details here. You're working. You're rolling up your sleeves. You're hard at work here, Cancerian and Moon, okay. Whatever this is can be done in secret. There's secrets around this, okay. Moon card tells me, Cancerian, that's your ruler here. This is, is your card or you'll be connect, connecting with a Pisces. So for some of you, like I feel, you walk among the wolves. You walk with the wolves, okay? So the moon tells me there's, there's a lot of subconscious things that are coming to the surface here, okay? This could mean that you're coming from a place of where you had fears, okay? There was a, a feeling of you facing your fears in a situation and overcoming this, okay? There was a lot of illusion, delusion around this moon, but I feel that you definitely were in touch with higher powers, right? The hand of God, the ace of sword is a gift from on high of intuitive clarity so that you can see, like I feel, the masks are falling off, okay? The, 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 the energies that were around here that were sucking your energy can no longer hide from you, Cancerian. So there's definitely a feeling here of somebody hiding, okay? The truth, but you know the truth. So let's clarify this reading. This is to clarify the reading for Cancerian. This is to clarify the reading. You could be connecting with Gemini, a Virgo, an Aries, a Leo, a Sag, a Scorpio. This is to clarify this Ace of Wands. Show me the Ace of Wands. You're very passionate. This is your inner fire. This is your soul's calling, okay? This is the force that is driven. Like I feel it may the force be with you, Cancerian. You're unstoppable is what I feel. I feel you're getting ready to take the next step. For some of you, you're getting ready for a trip, okay, a vacation, or getting ready to travel, Two of Wands, yeah, you're on your way already. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and Nine of Swords. You have a decision or a choice. You're at a crossroads, okay? For some of you, you're dealing with, uh, you have Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn in your chart. Or there was somebody here that you were in a connection with that could be at a distance from you. This is somebody offering you an opportunity, okay? 
This is somebody who's mature, grounded, okay? It can be somebody who's very successful, somebody that's at a distance from you. This is involving money. This is a financial opportunity. This Ace of Wands is an opportunity of growth here. I feel that it's giving you anxiety, okay? This could be something that, that you're overwhelmed by the offer that's coming towards you. This could be coming in from an earth sign, okay? You have a path, two paths to choose from or a decision, okay? It feels like you're at a crossroads. It's either you stay or you go, okay? Like Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, Cancerian, I feel you're getting ready to go for it, okay? I feel that you're getting ready to overcome a feeling here of unhappiness, okay? Or something that you felt responsible for or burdened, okay? So there's some guilt about this decision, okay? Feeling guilty if you should take this opportunity and run with it, go with it, right? Because it's going to take your time. You're going to have to put your time and energy into it. The Ace of Pentacles is also a gift from on high. It's coming with goodwill, with favor, okay? It's definitely opening up prosperity, money, okay? It's a it's an opportunity for promotion, okay? Is what I'm feeling. What's the magician? What is the magician? I see you going, Cancer, for it. I feel that you're already making this decision. You're planning for it. It's like you're putting everything in the, in the on a list, a to-do list. You're making a, a list of what needs to go, what needs to stay. It's like you're getting ready to pack up and move. You're getting ready to go for it. So you could be traveling at this time. This could also be somebody here that, yeah, now another two. So the magician is two of pentacles. I feel you're planning, you're prioritizing. This is getting your finances in order, okay? You've been very patient. Look at this, the magician to the magi magician. Wow, wow, Cancerian. Double confirmation you're getting. There's a lot of synchronicities in your reading. 227711 is here. And yeah, Gemini energy, lovers. So there is definitely a choice when it comes to a relationship, a love connection, a soulmate, a partnership, or a relationship. There's strong desires here, okay? There's somebody here that can't take their eyes off of you, all right? This is what I feel you've manifested. Now, this could be a feeling here of trying to gain balance here. It's like you're trying to get your two feet on the ground, okay? But I also feel like you, you're, whatever ups and downs that you've, been, that you've been going through, you've manifested love in your life, Cancerian. So there's a major choice here, okay? There could be somebody here who's a smooth talker, somebody who has the gift of gab, right? This could be somebody here that there's definitely mutual feelings, okay? The both of you are single. There's a feeling here, Cancerian, of being put to the test here in a relationship. Pisces energy. You could be connecting with a Pisces. So there's a choice. And like I feel for some of you, you could have been feeling trapped between a decision between two people, okay? Or feeling trapped in a situation that you felt like you had guilt for or you felt uh, this energy of uh, being a people pleaser or this feeling of the savior syndrome, right? It's like you have definitely high standards when it comes to your value system. You know that independently you can, you're going to meet your own needs. It's like you can't be a people pleaser. You cannot be sabotaging the best of, like, this is something for your high purpose. This is, it's like, stop sabotaging your life's purpose and sabotaging what feeds your soul here. Because there's something here that's feeding your soul here. There's a connection that you're meeting up with someone here. A choice that you've been going back and forth with, okay? All right, there could be options here. Now let's see what this Two of Wands is. There's somebody here that is definitely spying on you, okay? This could be somebody checking your 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 emails, your internet. Be careful, right? Because there's definitely somebody here who's a spy. Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Star card, and Six of Cups. Yeah. Somebody here from your past is returning. There's a return to your roots. 
For some of you, you could be getting ready to travel back home or back to a place that you once called home, okay? The star card tells me there's going to be a lot of compromising going on with, with this situation, okay? It's like you're leaving something that you were once passionate about and you're moving towards something that you're now engaging in that's very passionate. So there's a lot of magnetic attraction here, okay? You could be a, an Aquarius connecting to an Aquarius, there's a feeling here of reconciling, having hope, okay? Somebody here is getting ready, Cancerian, to reach out to you from the past. The past is returning. Uh, Venus is retrograde, so it's going to bring back relationships. So in your commitment, your commitment is going to be tested in this, all right? It feels like you're also reaching a resolution when it comes to this past situation. There's a compromise that's being made here, okay? It feels like you're getting ready here. Like for, it's like when you've been giving, you're getting back something that it's like receiving, giving and receiving, okay? It's also a feeling here of being well paid, okay? Being well paid for your services here, all right? And it's like a glow up that's happening here for you with the star card is you're finding hope in a situation, something that makes you very happy. There's going to be a lot of celebrating cancer. This is good times are on its way here, okay? This is about connecting to your roots, your friends, a reunion. This could be a celebration, a reunion, a family reunion, a gathering. It could be something that you're going on, a party, okay? But happy times are here for you, Cancerian, okay? So let's see what the Page of Swords is. Something here, like I feel when you return to the past... This is written and aligned in the stars here, okay? There's a feeling here of love and acceptance, okay? For some of you, this could be, for some of you, there's children here. For some of you, this is a feeling here of a childhood memory, connecting with people you grew up with. Seven of Pentacles, and there it is again, repeating cards, temperance, divine intervention, divine timing is here for you. I feel that there's somebody here very curious about your next move because you got two pages. There's two people here. There could be an Air, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or an Aries, Leo, Sag. This is somebody who's at a distance from you, okay? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. This is somebody here who I feel is very attractive, somebody who's outgoing, somebody here who you're thinking about. Like I'm feeling here, you got your eyes on this person. It's like you're moving forward here and you're leaving somebody here behind. I feel that this is something here that you've been waiting for. And this is this is bringing in some kind of harvest, some kind of reward, okay? There is a deeper meaning for this, okay? There's a meaningful connection that you're meeting up with here, an energetic younger person, okay? This person inspires you, okay? Like I'm feeling, and another page, okay? Three pages. Hmm. What's the pentacles? There's a whole lot of good news coming in. You got three pages, so this tells me the only page that's missing here is the page of cups, okay? So you're on your way. Like I feel the divine timing is here to say that that you've waited, your patience is paying off. There's a reward, you've made an investment here, okay? So there's some kind of payout that's coming in. Seven of Pentacles is right there. Let's see, you've been planning and waiting for this. And now, like I feel, it, there's something here that you're getting ready to take action on. Seven of Pentacles. You're making a judgment here. A decision. Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, and a Hermit. For some of you, like I feel, you're getting a lot of attention. There's a feeling here of getting recognized, like I felt here. You're being admired by a lot of people for your strength here, okay? Like I feel, you've been doing the work here. You could have felt trapped or stuck in a situation, but after all, the Eight of Swords is removing the blindfolds. For some of you, Hermit, Virgo, Energy... 
you are in a situation where I feel you haven't been talking. Someone's ghosting you here, okay? Somebody here stuck in their head, all right? This could be somebody who has a lot of fear, okay? Somebody here who's feeling silenced or going through some kind of crisis or drama. And I feel you're being recognized for your strength, okay? For some of you, this person's in isolation, okay? Somebody here, like I feel, this is where that sacrifice comes in. Yeah, because three of wands is a feeling here of getting ready, like I feel, to travel for some of you. Six of wands is, is a feeling here of being supported, being in the spotlight here. There's a sense of victory coming in for you, something that's going to make you very happy. It's a choice, okay? It's the outcome of you overcoming this. Seven of Pentacles is a feeling of you waiting for results, and this is the result. The result is something here that you need to make a choice. It's like your ships are coming in, and you're going to have victory. You're going to be winning this. So what is judgment? What is judgment? Please clarify why is judgment here. It's very clear that there's a judgment being made here. This is the law of karma. This is a situation where I feel there's a return or a rebirth. You're going through a rebirth, a renewal. And this is going to change everything, Cancerian. Five of Cups. Ace of Wands, you started with it and you're finishing it in the King of Wands. Yeah, this person can't take their eyes off of you. For some of you, you're dealing with a fire sign. Somebody here that's very passionate, like I feel this person's got their eyes on you. You could be going through some kind of a loss here, okay? For some of you, you're making a judgment, like you're cutting your losses now, okay? There's something here that you felt sad about, you have regrets, okay? For some of you, like I feel, you've had your head down. You didn't see this coming in. Like I feel, this is somebody coming in and you don't see it coming in, Cancerian. This King of Wands got their eyes on you. They can't take their eyes off of you. This is somebody here who could be an entrepreneur. This could be somebody who has fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sag. They're taking action. They want you, okay? So this is a return from somebody from your past that you thought was over with, done with. For some of you, this is somebody here that you never expected. This could be somebody that you knew from the past. And this is somebody that is coming in ready to take action. This is somebody, like I feel, that has a spark of interest for you. They're very, uh, this is somebody who's passionate. Like I feel, they're up for the challenge. So you definitely have somebody here that's very excited. It's like this person's ready. Game on, I'm hearing. Okay. So Cancerian, like I feel, you don't see it coming in, but it's coming. They're going to about to reach out to you, Page of Pentacles. You're going to get a message from this person, okay? And this is going to change everything is what I feel. It's a, And look, look, Queen of Wands and the World card. Next chapter, please. That's what this is. And Judgment. So right until the Judgment clarifying, look at you. Sagittarius had a similar reading like this. You could check out Sagittarius's reading. You're closing out cycles, so are they. Somebody here has closed out a cycle with the world card, okay? This person can have Taurus in their chart, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. A lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry, like I feel. This is an opportunity. This is somebody here making an offer to you. I feel the Ace of Wands is definitely a brand new spark here. For some of you, there's a lot of intimacy. This is somebody who I feel definitely can't take their eyes off of you. Now look at what's in between. This person is ready to take action. They want you, Cancerian, okay? Both attractive, both very passionate, both entrepreneur skills. Both of you are natural born leaders. This is a powerful couple, a power couple. The both of you are inspired. There's a new beginning here, okay? Queen to the King of Wands. There is an ambitious energy here of being ambitious and going for it. For some of you, like I feel, this is the new beginning. And this person is going to not take no for an answer. I feel definitely, Cancerian, that you're up for this one, okay? So I'm going to leave the reading there. There's going to be some kind of reckoning, okay? 
I'm going to pull a love oracle. That's right. There's some kind of renewal. For some of you, you knew this person in the past, okay? For some of you, like I feel, there's a feeling of this person is coming in. And there's a choice that will change your life for the better. So there's a major awakening here, okay? Judgment twice. This tells me both of you have gone through a spiritual awakening. You're in touch with your spirituality, okay? I'm seeing sunflowers, queen of wands, all right? The king of wands is somebody here who is ready to take charge, okay? Someone who inspires you. Show me Cancerian and love. What is the message for August, for love? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So like I feel, this girl here is moving, removing the veil, okay? So that you can see clearly here, okay? This is about signs that are cautioning you. So there could be red flags. Trust your intuition about this situation, okay? Like I feel, there is somebody here who's keeping an eye on you. So I feel you have a choice between two people. A serendipity. You're going to bump into this person and it's going to be synchronistic. It's going to happen when you least expect it. Yeah, playful. There it is. Lighthearted, fun. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This is definitely a higher uh, powered connection for sure. For sure. For some of you, you're connecting with somebody that you have a past life connection. Now the South Node moved into Libra. So this is going to activate the past life's relationships, past life contracts. This is going to activate the Akashic Records. For some of you, you definitely have a past life with this person. You've known them before. I'm seeing the United Kingdom here. I'm seeing Stonehenge. I'm seeing that the both of you are time travelers. For some of you, some of you have long, cold black hair, and somebody here has lighter hair, okay? So it feels like the both of you have a past life. Could be the 1800s, whatever, 1700s. This goes way back. This person is in love with you. They are passionate about you. This is somebody here who is unstoppable. Like I feel, very intense magnetic attraction between the both of you here. You have a past life. This is somebody that's coming back from a past life time. So basically, in this lifetime, you're meeting them. Okay? So if you haven't met them, you're about to meet them. So like I feel for some of you, pay attention. Okay? Because you will be... Sparks will be going off here. No denying it. I'm going to leave the reading there. Thank you so much, Cancerian. I will see you in the next reading. Thank you.